Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, for those of you who, this is your very first time finding my channel. My name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women to create the love life that they so desire. All right, so today we're going to talk about why and how your relationship actually makes you grow right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So your romantic relationship is actually all about you growing. All about you growing. I actually um, wrote some things down, and I want to read them to you. And unfortunately, I forgot to uh, write down where I got it from. So this is not mine, but I cannot pay homage to whose it actually is because I forgot to write it down. So anyway, the difference between a traditional relationship and a conscious relationship is the focus of work. In a conscious relationship, both people feel committed to each other with a sense of purpose. This purpose is growth, both at a personal level and the relationship level. When two people unite with the intention of growing together, the relationship will advance towards something much bigger than personal gratification. It will become a fascinating journey of evolution where both people have the opportunity to grow individually instead of renouncing their own needs to please the other. Did you hear that? Let me repeat it. Instead of renouncing their need, their, their own needs to please the other, it becomes a fascinating journey of evolution where both of you have an opportunity to grow instead of renouncing their own needs for the other. I think that that is just, that, that basically wraps up the video. We done. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, that makes so much sense. And a lot of people think that when they get into the relationships, they're just going to be super easy. They're not going to have to do anything but get into the relationship and live happily ever after. Unfortunately, that's just not the way that real relationships work out. You're definitely going to get ticked off at your spouse. You guys are not going to agree about things that you think you should just agree about. Or you're going to be feeling like, why are we having this conversation about this particular thing? Like, shouldn't you just know that? And unfortunately, they don't just know. That's why y'all having that argument. That's why y'all having that talk. That's why they brought this thing to the forefront. Because the way that you see things and the way that they see things are the, it's just not the same way. And I think that it's very fascinating that it does not even matter the amount of time that you guys were currently in a relationship be before you decided to walk down the aisle is something about getting married that changes the dynamics of that relationship. It doesn't mean that it has to change wholeheartedly where you guys are um, just completely two different people. But sometimes that does happen. And you're wondering, like, what the f Who did I just... Did I just say I do to the, who are you? <laughs> and sometimes you just be questioning like, hmm, so why I, I, I married you? <laughs> and you really, you can't do nothing but laugh about it. But really, your relationship is intended to help you grow as a person and of course you're growing in the relationship you guys are growing you either you're either growing one way or the other you're either growing together or you're growing apart but either way y'all growing now i know that this was going to sound very simplistic and duh i already know that but i'm still gonna put it here you guys have to get to know each other and experience a wide variety of things because when you get married and you guys are still constantly growing and you're going through these different things and you're going through these different stages, whether um, in, as individuals or together in the relationship, you're still growing because you as a person are going to notice different things. You're going to want to try different things. And for the majority of us, we want to try those different things and we, we want to talk about and discuss those different things with our spouses. So you guys have to continue to do that after you guys are married. And a lot of times it's going to seem like, again, it's going to seem like, like, who, what? I married you? <laughs> 
Like, was you fronting the whole time when we was dating? Was you fronting when we was engaged because you wanted to keep me? Like, what was really going on? Like, you are not the person. And th this is all the stuff that's going around in your head. Because especially when those sore spots come in, especially when that argument comes up, or something that you feel is dumb, or a question that you don't think that they should be asking because they should already know. You're growing. You're growing. Keep an open mind. Have the conversation. Try to keep that smug look off your face and the sarcasm down to a super minimum because that is going to be a way where you can actually feel happy about your relationship and about your spouse because sometimes we really just don't know. Like I'm still constantly learning my husband. I just found out something new about him just today. Uh, actually yesterday. And I was like, really? Oh, had no idea you like that. <laughs> right? So you're constantly um, getting to know the person that you're living with. Constantly. So experience a wide variety of experiences and new things. The next way that you can know that you're actually growing is because you're living in the present moment. Like you're being conscious about the present moment that you're in. You are actually aware of what's happening. You are aware of yourself growing. You are aware that, you know what, that thing that they used to say or that they used to do, it don't even piss me off no more. Or I, I just can ignore that thing now. That is a sign of growth where you don't have to have an argument about everything. Or you don't have to say something about everything. Sometimes you just got to let things go and move on so you can keep your sanity and your happiness. And you don't even have to worry about an argument because everything that's up here, don't need to come out of here. Let me say that again because some of y'all need to hear that. Everything that's up here that you think that you want to get off your chest, that you think that you need to say to your spouse, that you just want to get out there and just spew and say all of that mean stuff to them, all that just don't, it, it, it don't need to come out of here. This, this right here, keep it quiet sometimes. You do not need to say everything that you feel because mm -mm, that feeling is going to pass but those words your spouse gonna remember those words and I said this in another video but I'm gonna say it here sticks and stones don't break our bones but words will never hurt us that's an absolute lie I mean absolute lie words can kill and destroy your relationship and even your spouse all this right here you don't have to say everything that you want to say you don't wrap that up Bring it on back in. The next thing to think about is that if you guys are not growing together or, you know, um, if you guys are slowly growing apart and the relationship is about growth, what's the meaning of the relationship if you guys are not growing? If you want to say stay stagnant, you don't want to learn anything new, but you're still complaining about the things that you don't have, the things that, you know, you have not been able to see. A lot of that is because of your growth and you're not moving forward and you're pushing, you having that pushback. You want to learn. You're having that pushback. The last thing to think about is that your romantic relationship is not there to make you happy. It's there to make you aware. <laughs>